You're welcome to the SB Frequency Event um, Speaker Management Training webinar. The um, CAD 5 table, you can use a CAD 5, CAD 5 e, or a CAD 6 with an RJ45 cable and it's connected to a router. Just in case it doesn't see your device, then you go to man and this is the output section. From the crossover all the way down is the output section. Everything I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be saving on that preset and be building on that preset because anything can happen. You know, we're in Nigeria, Nepal can take light um, if you don't have um, UPS on your where you are, or you can have a power storage and make everything reset. You know, um, measurement might help you see what the problem is and um, how your speaker system is performing. Different, um, different filters. Now, when they cross at this end, different things happen. They can sum up or they can cancel. Some um, subwoofers that are actually omnidirectional, right, can be very problematic on stage. So most times you don't want them, you don't want all those low energy to be going back to the stage. I'm talking for those that actually will use it. So I continue with that. <laughs> Someone says graphic EQ is okay. Well, um, when you do sound professionally, graphic EQ cannot be okay. Trust me. When you when you have to configure um, like some four four line arrays per side or like some sixteen line arrays per side, then you will need this technique. And as you can see. It has shown me the results based on what my mic is showing. But for the Venue 360, I can say that in my inputs, I don't want to see graffiti chip. I want to see PDQ, and we're going to get to it now. Before I now start editing, adding, adding EQ, doing my crossover, I need to be sure that I have the right configuration for everything I need it for. This is mixed, so I can choose what signal I want for the inputs.